You're in front of our residents, and and I'm sure we know why you're here. Listen, cursing is not illegal, and neither is yelling. And you're here harassing us, and we're demanding to know why. And you're saying that there's a 911 call. If there was a 911 call, you'd be inside the building finding out what was going on, would you not? I'm not blocking any traffic, and I'm not doing anything wrong. You're in front of my building, and I want to know why. I want to know why you're in front of my building. Lyles, why are you in front of my building? Why are you blocking the traffic on this whole street? People can't get by now. And you're telling us that it's an emergency. What if there's an emergency behind you? You're obviously blocking that from going on, right? If there was a 911 call, there wouldn't be three cars sitting in front of the building just sitting around. I'm sorry, that's not how it works. No one called 911 here, obviously. Obviously. Where's the ambulance? Where's the EMTs? Who called 911? If you call, if someone called 911, do your job. Go find out where the emergency is. Why are you sitting here harassing people? You're intimidating us by sitting in front of our building and pulling out cameras. Your captain or lieutenant or whoever it is is pulling out his camera, which is illegal. And there's three people. There's three cop cars sitting in front of our building. That's a problem for me. And you're not saying why you're here. Beautiful. Everybody have your camera out. Exactly. Go back to the station, y'all. Just go back to the station. Thank you, brother. Thank you. He read in the news how you all put a poster of us up in the 30th precinct and how you posted our address. And here you are now harassing us at the very same place that you told the entire neighborhood about and made us look like we're criminals, right? But who's here harassing people? Who are the professional agitators in uniform? Who are the ones? Who? Where's the emergency? This is the emergency. That we live in a police state. That's the emergency. You're unwelcome here. Go home. Nobody called you. Go home. I called for them to call for the highway. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Although I do wish it was loud. Yeah, but it's a waste of water. Listen, I went to work at 6 in the morning and I came back. All right. We were all out here hugging each other. We were not doing anything wrong. People hugging and kissing each other in the street. Not allowed. Not allowed in Harlem. Careful, lots of bad people out there in uniforms. You can do it! We should be able to be here for ourselves, though. They should only be doing that, though. They should only be here when people need them. And they should only be here helping people. Listen. Listen, listen. I don't to look at the other side of the corner. I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, I got it. So, you know, this is... No, no, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. 
I'm sorry, right. man. I'm good. They, just, yeah, they, yeah. they good and saying, but they look like a coin. Yeah, yeah. I gotta know how to, you know, how to be smart and calm. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, we're gonna do it. You're spending 10, 20 years in jail because of something like that. You understand? Know what I'm saying? Hey, go ahead. Is this not in there? No. Oh, I don't think so. And they know. I know. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, you gotta make sure you stay in touch with people close by you. You got Lori, you got Greg. You want the neighborhood to know we are not criminals. We are protesting stop the press. There's not criminal activities of democracy. Everybody's grandparents and parents are this country for this reason. This is what this is. And all of them was the 30th precinct. This is quintessentially American behavior. There's nothing rather like about somebody else. This is a group of people who have never read a history book and don't know that. This is all that's all it is. This video. Those yeah, connected with that flyer. All right. Make sure you document the date, the time. Yeah, today it's July third, almost midnight, I the believe. Time. <laughs> yeah, eleven thirty-two. So about eleven thirty, they arrived there, whatever. All right. We got the cars numbers and everything.